When taking notes, you need to choose. Do you want to use a full notebook, a sheet of paper, an index card or a post-it? Well, in Scrinto, you don't have to make this choice. You can write as little or as much as you want and you can display the exact same card both as a post-it on a board, an index card or as a full page document. So in this video, I will teach you how to create a card in Scrinto and what you can use them for. This video is part of a Scrinto for Beginners series is sponsored by Scrinto. So if you want to have access to all the videos in the series, make sure to check the link in the description below this video. When you open Scrinto for the first time, you'll be greeted with an empty canvas. So to create a card, just go ahead and double click on the canvas and a card will be created for you. And if you are mobile and double tap is not that easy, no problem. There are 10 different ways to create a card in Scrinto. So another way will be to click on the plus icon in the left corner of the screen, choose card and then tap anywhere where you want the card to be placed. As easy as that. So if you are doing a quick brainstorm as you do with post-its or perhaps creating a mind map, then just go ahead, write the title of your card and when you click away, the title will be saved. But if, like me, you prefer to feel right and express your thoughts before you give them a title, no problem as well. Just press enter and it will open an index card view without a title. So you can then write the content first and then give it a title later. In this index card view, you can write for as long as you wish and the card will be floating around in the screen. So you can still see your desk and whatever it is that you have open in the background while you can be working on one card or multiple cards in your screen. And that's for ideation, self-expression and making sense of information. But what if all you want is to focus on a longer piece of writing? Well, in that case, just enter focus mode by clicking in the arrow icons in the index card mode or in the post-it mode. This way, your card will take the full screen. So no more distractions to your writing. And because we write from our notes, you can also open linked cards in the side pane so you can use your notes as a reference for whatever it is you are writing. So that's how you can create a card and visualize it. You create it as a post-it during brainstorm, you open in focus mode to expand on that idea, you open on index card to grow that idea in relation to other ideas, and finally, Open again in post-it mode to have an overview of all your knowledge. So that's how you create cards. But what does go inside of those cards? And that's what you check in the next video of our Screen for Beginner series. I see you there.